going to go on the ground, your struts are going to go up to the vehicle, and then we're going to attach our, our ratchet system or what have you to the vehicle. The problem with these is they were getting side loaded, and the eyelets were breaking. Okay? Not to mention, um, when your cache was purchased, uh, I'm not sure if there's a specific reason in mind, but for whatever reason, you guys purchased these big J hooks, and these are really cool, but they only work in a handful of applications. So how do you put this J-hook through there without side loading that sucker? So what we've been kind of doing for the guys today, or this last week, is that's how I want to see them. Okay? Go around the base, you transfer the load through the hard part of the base, and these eyelets, these winglets, are just to help prevent this thing from coming up your strut. Still slightly side loaded. Still slightly, yeah. slightly side loaded, but we're side loaded on this steel versus that cast. So it's going to be a little stronger. The problem with these eyelets is they were breaking. Okay? Okay. There's a retro. Um, and uh, we're going to retro out all your, your eyelets. It's probably going to be a couple weeks, but it goes to this, and this is what the new handle is going to be like. So this wants to face the vehicle. It's going to look like that. So now regardless where you put your hook, your J-hook, um, even if you have the other style ratchets with the finger hooks, those fit through here. So you can even get this J-hook through here if you need it. Okay? So if you only had one strap, that you needed to do opposing on an angle, the J-hook even fits through that. Okay, so all your stuff's going to retro to this here probably in a couple weeks. So for today, what you're going to do is just swing it around like this. Um, the other thing I know you guys are going to get... Crap, I left them in the trailer. Excuse me.